this one. Now let's get started. So uh, the question here to say uh, integrate by three substitution. Listen, I have a list of about um, 200 or 500 integration that I'm going to do on uh, the next coming day. So same tune, uh, that's going to be the word bracket. No, but I don't think anybody's going to come and take over there. So far, nobody has done what I did for the six hours non-stop integration. Okay, that was a challenge and I want people to, you know, I challenge people to see if they can get to that level. Now, that I'm going to do is not just to break, just to keep the record that nobody's going to break. For so far, so long, I have done the six hours integration, the uh, six hours non-stop integration that I haven't seen nobody have done there. You know, that was, that was a soul, that was come from my soul. You know, just to offer to the world. So, without further ado, let me get started. So, I'm going to go fast a little bit so we can save a lot of time, okay? Now, let's go to the question number one. So, before we get started with the question, I want to show you something which is very, very crucial things. You have to know that because if you know that, then you'll never have a problem. For example, uh, you need to know this one face. Uh, if you have A, A can be any number, minus X square, and then square root, like, you see this is A square minus X square, like, number minus X square like another one, let's say number one is like this. No, 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 this is x minus number. So I'm gonna show you for them both. Now, let's start with this. If I have this format, this is sine. So let me say a, so I'm gonna substitute and say this, I have to substitute saying, I have to say, take this variable, which is x for this case, equal to a sine of angle. That's how you're gonna substitute. Okay, for, okay, another one, if now, if I have x squared minus uh, a squared, a square can be 9, it can be 100, any number. For this one here, this is sec substitution. So it's like, if you start with the x square, this is sec. So you say x, you let x equal to, take your a, and they say sec of your angle. Okay, which other one? The other one, okay, if you have the x square plus a square, or vice versa. So this is tan. So you say x equal to a tan of angle. So you're going to have to know this one, okay? Now, another thing also you need to know is identity of trig. Okay, identity of trig. So if, now I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to get them because sometimes they don't give an exam or an answer sheet. So this is how to get them. If somebody gave you, we all know this. So now, from this, I can create another identity. I'm going to get another identity. I'm going to divide by everything, divide by sine square, sine, everything divided by sine square, sine square, sine square. If you take sine, okay, so take everything divided by sine square. If you divide by sine square, this is going to give me 1 plus. If you take cos square divided by sine square, it's going to give me what? It's going to give me cot. 1 divided by sine square is going to give me cosec. Oh, so you see, from this key identity, we get another identity. So we get another identity. Also, if I take this divided by cos square through, I divide by cos square, divided by cos square, divided by cos square, for this case now. Sine square divided by cos square is going to give us tan square. Plus, cos square divided by cos square, so now we divide by cos square through. Divide by cos square again, 1. 1 divided by cos square is going to give you sec square. Oh, so you see now, we have produced another identity from the key identity. So, I'm going to be using this throughout so I can write them somewhere here on top. Because they're going to help me to... Can use a pen here so okay let me write them here so one plus cot square so i can say one plus cot equal to cosec uh let me see if it is recording phase yeah it does record because that time i was solving some question then i realized that did two hours without record now and then tan square plus one equal to sex square because you're going to be using this throughout now, let's go to the question number one. So, question number one, if you look careful, this is sine substitution because I have a minus x squared. So, I can rewrite that, say this integral. So, 9 squared is like 3 squared minus x squared. And then, this is going to be x squared dx. So, I can let, so let, x equal to 3 sin angle. So then I have to differentiate. When you differentiate, you get dx. When you differentiate 3, you get 3. When you differentiate sin, you get cos. Angle, d here. So replace everything. 
So the plus everything is going to become in a row. 3 is 3 minus x squared is x squared. It's going to be 3 squared sine squared. But we got what we got? Square root. x squared. Oh, no. x equal to 3. 3 theta the plus this x squared. But uh, 3 squared equal to 9. So it's like saying 9 here. And then sine squared is sine squared. And then dx, what is it dx? dx equal to 3 cos theta d theta. Okay, so this equal to 3 cos theta. You know what? Because look, I can factor out 3 and 3 is going to be 9. Let's say 9. And then this is going to be 1 minus sine square. And then we got root. Square root of 9 equal to 3. But uh, then this is going to be square root of cos square from the trigger density. 1 minus sine square cos square. And this is going to give us all sine square. Sine, just sine. Okay. So, yeah, so this is going to give us all 3 sine. Okay. 1 minus sine square, 1 minus square equal to cos square, cos square, and then the square root of cos equal. It's no sign, sorry. When you square it, cos square you're gonna get, you're gonna get cos. So three cos. So all this stuff is gonna be in a row. Three cos means all this is gonna give three cos theta, and this is going to be three cos theta, d theta, and this is gonna give us nine sine square, uh, sine square. Some of them are gonna cancel. Three times three equal to nine, divided by nine equal to nothing. So we don't have no number here. So this may say in a row, cos divided by sine. So what we're going to do now, uh, the question is almost finished. So cos of sine equal to cot square. In a graph cot square to theta. So now we know what is cot square. Uh, cot square. Cot square equal to cos x square minus 1 from the identity. So this let me say in a graph cos a minus 1 d theta. Now I can separate. I can say in a graph cos x square d theta equal to negative cot. Okay, minus, minus, okay? Uh, integral of d theta, integral of d theta equal to theta, plus constant. But, okay, before we say constant, okay? But we know in equation, they did not give us in terms of theta, they give us in terms of x. So it means you have to come and replace this in terms of x. So look here. If I look careful, this triangle here, I started from here. I say x equal to three, so, uh, if this angle equal to theta, let me make a subject say divided by 3, divided by 3. So I'm going to say uh, sin theta equal to x over 3. x over the 3, because you have to make subject sin theta. Okay, but what is sin? Sin equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite means this is x, and hypotenuse, hypotenuse equal to 3. So now if I can find using a Pythagorean theorem, this is going to be equal to 9, uh, 9 minus x squared. Or oh, even if it's not, yeah, Pythagorean theorem. Nice. Okay, so now we want to get cot. But what is cot? Cot means, okay, cot is like the inverse of tan. But what is a tan? Our tan we know, tan equal to opposite over adjacent, which is this. But what is cot? Cot is the inverse. It means if you reverse, it's going to give a cot. It's like cot equal to flip it, 9 minus x squared over x. So this let me say minus nine minus x square over x minus. What is that theta? Our theta equal to sine inverse of x over three. Sine inverse of x over three. Can be x over three. So this could be a final answer. Now, let's go to the question number two. Question number two. Question number two. Two uh, is tricky by parts, but it's kind of tricky a little bit. <laughs> I love this question. Very, very important question, guys. Very, very crucial question. Very, very important. It's very, very important question. Now, let's go. So, give me integral of the cos of sec dx. So, me, I'll separate. So, this is equal to sec x and then sec square x dx. 
So I know from the formula or by parts, this should be u because the formula say integral u d v equal to u v minus v d u. So what u will let u equal to sec differentiate du equal to when you inter, when you differentiate sec you get uh, differentiate sec <laughs> sec tan sec tan dx okay when you integrate sec square okay integrate sec square okay so this integrate what sec square but what is sec square uh, so we want to integrate sec square okay when you integrate sec square you get you get tonics so what i want to do um, i'm going to have to replace some stuff here come here when you integrate this which is this on you this is, okay so when you integrate this which is same with this which is same with this equal to uv or say integral of sec U V, what is a U? U we know sec V. What is a V? V equal to tongue minus okay minus integral V V equal to tongue okay and then D U D U equal to sec tongue sec tongue means this time they're gonna be two and then here we're gonna have only sec dx. You see what I'm talking about? Oh my pause. So, you see? Another thing was I'm gonna replace this. But from t get and tan square, tan square equal to sec square minus one. Okay. So this is gonna be integral of sec equal to sec x tan x minus. So this is gonna be integral of sec square. Uh, uh sec uh, sec square yes, minus one times sec x dx. But when you multiply it's gonna be sec cube and sec. So okay, just multiply it right here. But in the exam, make sure you show it, okay. Minus everything here, minus integral of sec cube dx minus minus plus integral of sec x okay so now look on the left okay let me just show you everything here so this is minus uh, sec tan x here minus right so here we have an integral of sec dx look this and this are similar things so this is integral by parts you do again by parts so what we're going to do here have our, our minus this and this are similar so i'll take this one here to the left check see this one here and this they look alike so take inner growth set here so they're going to be two of them because this negative one comes is going to be positive it's going to be two of inner growth of sec oh my god my pain sorry guys that's what i'm changing it's going to be sec dx so on the right hand side I'll be left you sec x times minus no no plus now because this went over so plus when you integrate sec you get long integrate sec long sec time plus time x when you integrate sec you get long sec plus time Oh yes. Yes, okay. So what we're gonna do now, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say okay, so what I'm gonna do now, uh I'll divide by two, divide by two. So divide here by two, divide by two throughout, and here divide by two, and here divide by by two. So this in this cancer because you're looking for sec cube. So finally, in a growth sec cube x d x equal to a half sec like x tan x plus a half long sec x tan x sec tan x oh my pain I finish plus constant c because we don't have a limit so plus constant c okay just a second just a second let me see if I can get good penny because my pen I finish oh my god I don't have no pen it's fine let's go so now we go to the question number three Go more speed now.
You see if it's clear yeah, because... Oh man, it's very dirty, okay. Let's just wipe a little. Let's see, okay. I don't have a uh, good wipe board, so I have to use water to wipe it. I have to use some water to wipe it, okay? So just in case. Now let's go to question number three. Now. Okay, question number three. So this is going to be tan because x squared plus four. So I'm going to say uh, we got integral, uh, integral of x uh, one one over plus 100 and then dx so this is for tan because you have an x squared plus so I'm gonna let, let x this is 100 is like 10 squared so I can say this is 10 squared equal to 10 take 10 and this is tan of your of your angle so differentiate after you let them they differentiate okay this is gonna be tan when you differentiate tan you get sec D, yeah, replace everything. So integral dx, dx equal to 10 sec theta d theta over okay, x square tan 10 square 10 square tan square because you must square both x square plus 10 square. Okay, so now we say when you this one, this is going to give you 10 because 10 is going to go out, so okay, so on top is going to be 10, okay, 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 10 sec square, theta d theta, and then here, this is going to be 10 here, and then uh, tan plus sec, okay, you can just do slowly, you see it's going to come tan sec, okay, now we go, one second, one second, go, 10 and 10 go, but you can do very, very slow if you get confused, okay, you see what I'm saying, but this is going to give you tan sec. Maybe I can just show you because some people don't know. Okay, so this is going to be 10, 100. This is going to be 100. Okay. And this is going to be 10 plus this is going to be 100 also. But if 100 go out, it means it's going to be left with 1. When you square 100, you get 10. And then when you, when you square 10, square theta plus 1, this is going to give you sec theta 10. That's what I say, sec. Okay. Now, one second, one second go. 10, 10 go. So it's going to be integral of sec theta d theta. But I will know when you integrate sec, you're gonna get long tan theta plus sec theta plus c. But uh, make sure you put your absolute whenever you have it long because anything which comes out of the absolute is always positive. That's why I put my absolute. It must be positive because if you can, you can never you can never have a long of negative. It's not gonna be positive. So you put absolute. Even if it's negative, it means it's gonna come as a come out as a positive because of the absolute. So now we say, in a question, they did not give in term of theta. They give us a term of order of x, x, x. So I'm gonna take this to my advantage. So let me draw a small triangle here. And then I'll say, this is my theta, okay. Tan, what is tan? Tan equal to x over 10, because divided by 10 equal x over 10. So then it's gonna be opposite, and this is going to be adjacent. See, divided by 10 divided by 10 is like x over 
change. Some people are, um, they might not understand, so I gotta go slow, but with me, I can go fast. So this is gonna be opposite and this is gonna be adjacent from trig. Okay, so opposite adjacent. So this is gonna be 100 minus x squared plus x squared. This is gonna be potent. So now we say, how are we gonna get tan? We know tan. Tan equal to x over 10. So this, let me say, long. It's gonna be x over 10. And then we plus sec. How are we gonna get sec? What does sec mean? Sec is like one over cos. So this let me say, you see, one over cos. So it's like one over, but what is a cos? Cos equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, like say 10 over 100 plus x squared. So flip is gonna be 100, because this is gonna to go to the top, plus x squared over 10, absolute, plus c. So this let me say long, I can put 100, so this is going to be x plus, uh, or you can say x squared plus x, or you can write however you want. Or you can start with the x squared plus this x plus 100, absolute, plus constant c. And that's going to be our question number, question number, question number three, right? Oh yes, question number three. Now let's go to question number four. Question number four. So the trick is you just have to know those, uh, if it's tan, if it's sag. This guy. So this, okay, I want to show you something very, very crucial, very, very important. So it's option, not all the time you must do substitution, unless if they tell you, and unless if you say like no, because sometimes it could be substitution tricky, but you can do by normal substitution. So they're not going to tell you now, do normal substitution, it's up to you now to use a common sense. You see? For example, let me show you the next question here. I see me, I'm going to use, okay, let me show you. The next question, what I mean for that. Sorry guys, like I said, I don't have a good whiteboard, so I have to use a, you know, wet cloth, and then come and try and try again, you know, okay. Okay, now let's go. This one here, so we got number four, number four is inner bro. Uh, x cube, x square, plus 100, dx. So you see this one can be, is a 10. But I me, mean, I'm not gonna do it as a 10. I'll show you. Not all the time. Unless if they say use 10. Or oh, if they don't, then you can use a common sense. Like me here, I'm not gonna use it as a 10 substitution, even though I know it can be 10. I'm gonna say, look how I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let everything here. Let you. I'll take all of this. Uh, this is like all of this. You equal to that. But uh, when you say square, it's like a half. So let me say half. And that will differentiate u equal to. So how you differentiate the half is gonna to go to the back, and then we have to differentiate the inner one, or half go to the back and then take this minus one is gonna be uh negative half, and then we differentiate this is gonna give you two x. You can differentiate slow, okay? Okay, half go to the back, take everything right, minus one is gonna be negative one, and then differentiate the inner is gonna give you two x. Two and two cancel. So this may say du equal to. This is going to go to the bottom. So on top, it's going to be just a 1. Like 1 over x squared. It's going to be x, not 1. x over x squared plus 100. But uh, this negative is going to go to the bottom. It's going to be half positive. So it's going to be square root of x and then d, dx. So look, if I look careful, you know what I'm going to do? Look, x dx over this is like, I can separate this x and put one x here. And here it's going to be 2. So this equal to du. You see? So then I'm gonna say, it's gonna become now, but x squared, what is x squared? x squared, I can use the here, look. One more look, I can multiply by two, or what I can do here, for me to get this, I can just, oh, multiply by two and then multiply by two. Because this was like this. So if you square this, gonna be u squared equal to x squared plus 100. So if I wanna get x squared, I can get x over two u squared minus 100. 
Oh, so it's going to be integral. Instead of x squared, I'm going to say what? x squared to u squared minus 100. But all of this equal to du. Okay, so this is integral. u squared, we're going to plus 1. Okay, let me write. Okay, u cube over 3 minus 100 u. But we know the value of u. What's the value of u? u equal to that square root of this one here, the one that you okay. So I can't place this, okay, instead of u, see? And then we plus your c. So we're done. See? So sometimes it's not necessary. They can just give a question that you have to use a common sense. Let me show another example that you could have used be using a uh, time substitution. But then, I think it's somewhere here. Yeah, this one here. Okay. Then I choose to do normal substitution because I felt like it's more convenient. This one, the question which is going to come now. Then up. Uh, so it means that's going to be this question 7, 9, 10. That's going to be question number 11, which I'm going to do now. Now, let's say question number 11, because this is 10, number 11, okay. Question number 11, for example, they say, uh, okay, somebody give you integral, okay, integral, 0 to 1, and then x, x, and then x squared plus 4. So, you see, I can, I can use Time substitution because this can be x squared plus 2 squared. Oh, then I can use time. But now I'm not going to do it. You know, because you know what? This is going to be easy if I do normal substitution. How? Because I know if I differentiate this, it's going to give me x dx. Look, let me let u only this equal to x squared plus 4. Differentiate du equal to x dx divided by 2 divided by 2. So x dx, x and dx equal to du over 2. So this will become integral du over 2 so these two can come at the back because like over 2 come at the back and there's going to be square root of u you see this, go, this will be this will be the base method because we're going to give me the answer easily so this is good to 1 over 2 and this can be integral of u negative a half du and this can be 1 over 2 okay plus 1 it's going to be u negative a half it's going to be u plus 1 is going to be u positive a half Divide by half again here, 1 over, one, 1 over 2. You see what I'm saying? How did I get a half here? Come on. This is positive. This is going to be 3 over 2 then. 2. Okay. 2. 3 over 2. So this is 2 and 2 cancel. So this is going to be only 3. So it's going to be u, 3 over 2, or you can say uh, square root. Okay, you can say, I can say look. I have like uh, okay, and this can be root because this is a half. It's like a half times two, and it's like saying like this. So it's like saying, but what is it u? Are you equal to x squared? Because this is this cancel over three, the plus constant. You see, so otherwise I could have using tan substitution. So it's optional, but I use a lot of common sense based on how the equation or the structure of the equation. Now, let me do question number five. So question 11, we're done already. I want to see if it's clear. Oh, maybe I should just use it hand in hand. That is fine. It's okay, no problem for now, not too bad. Question number five. Come on right there. So this is question number question number five. Question number five, you say integral. So this is sign, not not sec is sign because it's which 
question am I doing that? Question number? Question number five, yeah, okay. One x squared, then you got 25 minus x squared, dx. So this is sign because it's number minus whatever. So I'm gonna let uh, x equal to five sine theta. And then dx equal to, this gonna be five, when you differentiate sine, you get cos. See? So let's substitute integral dx. dx equal to five cos x, five cos theta d theta over x squared, 25 sine squared. Oh, my pen I finished, my pen I finished, guys. Yeah, I hope you're gonna finish all this question. Okay, 25 sine theta, okay, 25 minus x squared means 25 sine squared. Now, we can do a lot of uh, replacement here, okay, now, this equal to cos x. So, integral 5, 25, cos, 5 cos, 5, because 5 must come out here, 5 cos theta. Okay, so now we say from the identity, right? I hope you understand what's happening. Come on, guys. Should I show you? Okay, 25, 1, minus sign. Because you take 25 out for both. And this will be 5, and this 1 minus 1 minus sine square root 2. And when you square root, this is going to give you cos theta 5. 5 to theta. Okay, now we go. 5 and 5, go. 5 and 5, go. So that mean cos and cos go. So I'll be left with 1 over 25. 1 over 25. Oh yes. 1 over 25. And then in a row. 1 over 25. Okay, see. This, 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 okay. In a row of 1 over sine square. But what is 1 sine square? 1 over sine square is like uh, cos x square. Theta d theta. But I will know when you integrate cosec, you get negative cot. 1 over 25. Uh, so 1 over 25 is going to be negative or cot. Okay, negative cot. But remember, we're not going to use a cot here in a question they give us in terms of x. So we have to go and play the same game we did before. Okay, let's do a small triangle here. These are theta. So sine equal to opposite over hypotenuse means over this 5. X of half. Okay, so opposite over hypotenuse. So adjacent means 25 square of this minus square of this. The square root. Okay, now, so what is cot? Cot is the opposite of 10. Means if you reverse the 10, you get cot. Okay, so let's say it's 1 over 25, but we have a negative. Okay, so cot, we know tan. Well, let's just slow, slow some people are going to understand. Okay, what is cot? Cot is 1 over tan. But with me, I'll just do straight, take this, divide by that. But let me, let me show you because you might not understand. Okay, so negative, negative, negative over 25. Oh, my pen, I finished. Okay. Okay, 1 over. But what is tan? Tan opposite over adjacent. So what we do, this is going to go to the top. That's what I'm saying. Okay. It's going to be, if you go to the top, it's going to be negative 25 minus x squared. And then this is going to be at the bottom, 25 x. Okay, that's question number five, right? Okay. Question number five. Now we go to the question number. We go to the question number. Question number, which question number? Question number six. Okay, question number six. Question number six now.
Question number six. Number six is gonna be sec, yes, that's a sec. Definitely, that's a sec. Because we see it's x minus body. Now, we go number six, so in a row, in a row, okay, in a row, number six, in a row of x square, x square minus nine, and then we got x square here. X minus 9 minus 9. Oh, yes, okay. So this is sec because you have an x squared minus 9. Variable minus number. So this is see. Uh, we're going to let x equal to 3 because this is 3 squared. 3, and then we're going to say sec theta. Uh, differentiate dx equal to 3. Uh, when you differentiate sec, you get sec term. Oh, replace the integral. x squared. It's going to be 9. You can say 3 squared. 9 sec minus 9 x squared is going to be 9 because x squared, 9 sec. Okay. Okay. dx, 3 sec, theta, tan, theta, d theta. Now we go. So this, let me see. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. So this is easy. So this, let me see. This is going to give us um, sec squared minus the number. Sec squared minus the number equal to tan. So all this equal to tan. In a graph tan, but there's a three here. Tan theta, I believe you know the identity, so you can just come and play around here. We give a three tan theta, and here's gonna be nine sec theta, and here's gonna be three sec theta tan theta d theta. Okay, some of them they're gonna cancel here. Look, one sec, one sec. And this is gonna give us uh, three and three, nine, nine over nine, nothing. So is one. Okay, so this let me say tan square. Uh, three, three and three cancel, so it's just a tan square. So on top is going to be tan square, and at the bottom is going to be sec, only one sec. Okay? I can then replace this. What is tan square? Tan square equal to sec square minus one. So this let me say integral, sec square minus one. But over sec, over sec, because it's going to be uh, this equal to sec square minus one. Over sec square, so over sec theta, over sec theta for each one theta. So this is going to be integral of just one second, one second go of sec theta t theta minus, and this is going to be integral of uh, one over sec. But what is one over sec? Uh, uh, one over sec, co cosec. So integral of cosec. Okay, integral of that, cosec. One over, no, 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 integral of the sign, my apology. One over, integral of the cos. Never the cost so. Okay. One of a sec is equal to cost, so integrate the cost. Okay. When you integrate sec, you get long of sec plus tan. Minus when you integrate, this will give a sign. Okay. So we're gonna go and do the same game and replace this because you don't need this. Okay, now let's go to the small triangle. Let's assume you got small triangle. Like this. Okay, so so we want to come and place this on here. Okay, this is theta. So I like this. Okay, so now x over three looks gonna be x over three equal to sec. But from Sokatoa, like the sine over sine, tan over we don't have something called sec. So what I'm gonna do, I can flip it. What is sec? Sec is one over cos. So I'll replace this sec. Say what? One over cos. So in other way. Let me flip everything. So say cos of theta equal to 3 over x. So cos means adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent equal to 3 and hypotenuse equal to x. So, oh, 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 no, 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 oh, oh. Adjacent equal to 3 and hypotenuse equal to x. So opposite, 
is going to be x squared minus 3. Minus 3 squared is equal to 9. Equal to 9, okay? So now I come here back. So I'm going to say now, let me replace everything so long. But what is sec? Sec equal to x over 3. So x over 3 plus tan. Tan equal to adjacent over adjacent, opposite over adjacent, I'm sorry. Opposite. Adjacent or adjacent equal to 3 minus sine. Sine equal to opposite minus 9 over hypotenuse. So I can plus my C now. So I can put this together for 1. I can just say both of them over 3. So I can do like this. And this is going to be my final answer for the question number 6. Now let's go to question number 7. Question number 7 uh, is the uh, tan substitution. We're almost finished. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're almost finished. Okay, cool. Let's go to question number seven. Question number seven is this. So I'm going to say integral. Okay, t square dt. So I'm going to let this is tan. So say t equal to square root of two because this is same as a look two, but it's not in square. So I can say this same as a because when you say two, it's like two square root and then you square. It's still two. Okay. Uh, yeah, still two. So the reason I write like this, so I can, it's gonna be easy for me to substitute. So I'll say uh, t equal to whichever number is here, which is square root of two, and they say tan of my angle. Differentiate is gonna get dt. Okay, this is gonna be square root of t. When you finish tan, you get x square. Substitute integral t square. What is a t square? Square of this. It's gonna give us two tan. Okay, dt. Dt equal to square root of two. Okay, t square, t we know, we go to square this, can give us two. Square this, so you can just say like this. Okay. Yeah, like that. So now this is gonna give us, uh, okay, what's gonna go out here? Square root of two is gonna go out. Square root of two is gonna go out. So here's gonna be two turn. Okay, take out square root of 2. Yeah, square root of 2 is going to go out. And then tan square plus 1 equal to sec x. Sec theta. Okay, so this and this cancel. So we're going to have 2 is going to go out and 1 sec and 1 sec is going to go out. So it can be integral of tan and 1 sec. Okay, so then I can replace this tan square what is tan square tan square equal to sec square minus one so this will be a uh, two in a row we'll replace this one and then you have a x sec x t theta i reply in this will be sec cube and sec 
So I can say sec cube and this can be minus sec. But I show all the step, right? Okay, now we can check separately. Okay, if I check separately, this and that, and that, oh my God, this is a long question, okay. This and this, but very interesting question. So this will give me equal to integral of sec d theta minus two integral of sec theta d theta. So this alone is by part, alone by part. But when you integrate this, we know, equal to ln of sec tan. Okay, let me take this and handle this. My God. Okay, so let me raise the sum of the part because I need a lot of space. Oh my God, okay? Okay, now let's go. So this one here we know is gonna give us, okay, minus ln of, we got two here, I'm sorry, but two, ln of sec plus tan. Okay, so here we're done. The problem is here. So let's take separately and deal with it, okay? So integral, sec cube theta, this let me say uh, integral of sec theta, integral of sec square theta theta okay now we do that so it's like the, the second question that we did uh, I think I can just tag because you know how to do that question unless if you want me to go through everything but let me just do it because there's no shortcut so now we know we want to say okay so so let's do like this I'm sorry okay sec square so u equal to sec theta and dv equal to sec square theta d, d theta okay differentiate du equal to when you differentiate it's going to give you sec tan Okay, when you integrate, v equal to, when you integrate sec square, you get tan. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna say now, integral of sec d theta equal to uv, tan theta times v, sec, minus integral of d times sec tan so tan is going to be two of them because this is the tan square and this sec okay so what we're going to do we're going to have to deal with this but uh okay we can deal with that it's easy so look this one here same as a tan okay we get tan theta so this is like tan square what is tan square tan square equal to sec square minus one could be sec square minus one times second Okay, minus, okay, this is gonna be sec cube, sec. Integral sec cube minus integral sec. And here we have a ton. And here we have integral sec. So you see, these and these are similar, so it's gonna come over because they're similar. See this? And these are similar, take over. When you take, this is a very good question, guys. Let me show you. Very good question, okay. Take over is gonna be two of them. Two of integral of, say cube theta, d theta, equal to tan, tan theta, sec theta, and then, uh, remember this like this. Negative, this is gonna be positive. So if I have to open bracket, this means what? Positive. But when you integrate, sec you get a uh, possible ln of sec theta plus tan theta so what we're going to do now we got this see what i'm saying but divided by two because you want to get the value for of sec or you can just say okay i don't have to divide it by two because i know all of this with a two because there was a two, 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 two. with a two equal to that so i can take this one in place but if there was no two here, and then I had to divide by two, divide by two, divide by two. But for this case, it just came out of mark. So I'll take this one because it's two sec whatever, two sec whatever equal to that. So we can come at a place. Instead of saying that, I'll say, I made a place here. I'll say, uh, tan tan theta, sec theta. Let me see if it does record face. I wanna make sure it cut. Oh my God, you see, that's what we're saying. 
it's too down so better that I watch because otherwise you, you was it gonna see what I'm doing okay so what I'm gonna do okay I can just raise this part because we know the value oh no 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 not yet not yet not yet okay so let me just raise this one Okay, so now we say, um, okay, so this one here will replace with that. Oh, so uh, we're gonna say now all the question equal, I replace this to whatever, to whatever with that. So it's gonna be tan, tan, theta, sec, theta, minus, minus. No, 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 plus, excuse me, face, plus what? Plus, long. Plus tan, and then now we're gonna come here minus 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 one two long two of the same thing two long sec theta plus tan theta. Okay, so you see these are similar thing. Long sec long sec. So these are negative two. This one. So you take one minus negative two is gonna give you negative one. You see what I'm saying? It's like say y minus 2y. So it's going to give you negative y. So it's negative of ln of sec theta plus tan theta. And then we say tan theta sec theta, which is this. Okay. So the question is finished. We can just finish up quickly and replace the values because that's not the value they gave to us. So I'm going to come back here on the origin. Tan theta, I know. Tan theta, I know the value, but the problem, I don't know sec, I don't know sec. So, uh, there's a lot of ways you can do. I can just say from, from this one here, you know, tan, okay, look. Tan theta square plus one equal to sec. So if I take uh, tan theta, what is tan? Tan equal to t over square root of two. So it's like t over square root of two, what? Square plus one, this is going to give me sec square theta. Now, let me read. Okay, so this is going to be t square over two. So I can say t square over two. So this is going to be common denominator. This is going to be t square plus two over two equal to sec square. But I want to get just sec. Square root chain, square root. Oh, so sec equal to t square plus two over two so we can replace everything now so we got everything so let's replace everything now okay tan we know tan what is tan tan equal to t over square root of two okay uh tan okay sec what is sec sec equal to t square plus two over square root of two also i can separate this Scroll to the top one, scroll to the top one, okay. Minus ln of sec, we know sec, sec this one, which is t squared plus two, plus tan, tan, t over square root of two. Done, easy, and then we plus our constant now. So now what we can do, we can just simplify. Square root of two times square root of two equal to two, so it's like say t over two minus, okay, common denominator here, here say square of two and this gonna be plus constant. The question is done. So now we go to question that was question number the one with the T T T T T T square plus two. Okay, cool. Now we go to question number number eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven we did already. Okay.
Okay. We're almost finished, guys. Only two questions to go. Eight, nine, ten, three. I'll go more fast now so we can just get done without the time. It is easy. By part. Okay, cool. Let's go. So I'm buying the diggers. In a row of E. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let U equal to that one. I think I have done that question more than 10 times. Okay, let U equal to square root of X. The u equal to uh, 1 over 2 square root of x dx. So, uh, what is dx? Let's, okay, so this one we know equal to u now. So du equal to 1 over 2 u dx. So I can replace dx because it's going to be 2 u du equal to dx. Let's replace. It's a very, very crucial question they asked many times. I remember for some long time when I was in. 10th grade, no, no, 11th grade. Did I do 10th grade? 11th grade, I think. 10th grade. Okay, 10th grade, 11. I uh, did this question. Okay, now we're going to say integral. Okay, instead of saying dx, okay, this will become u and this e, u, because this equal to that. dx, what is dx? dx equal to, okay, I take 2 out and u and du means dx, dx, I'll place dx with it, 2u, 2u, i take 2 out for power, so this is by, by parts. Oh, you know what I can do? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me not use u, 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 u for a reason, because I want to do by parts. So let me replace this by other letter. Let's, let's call this k, because since I want to do by parts, and by part use u and v. So, let me say this is k. You see what I mean. That is soon you want to see what I mean. Let me just erase everything because now it's become dead. Okay, so we're going to let k equal to square root of x and this is going to become dk equal to 1 over 2 square root of x dx. Okay, now. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So this is going to become dk equal to 1 over 2 k because of k is equal to k. Uh, yeah. Okay, so yep, uh, this is equal to k, so it's going to become 2k, and this is going to become dx. So make subject dx because when I come and replace this, it's going to become 2k dk equal to dx. Now let's go and replace there. So this is going to become integral. This is k, so e power k dx. What's the mean of dx? 2k dk. So I'm going to write my dk here, so this is gone. k are right here, and this is going to become 2. So this is by part. You see now for a reason, because this is going to be u and this is going to be dv. But if I have a u again, and then to replace another u, it's going to be another mission. So, let's do by parts. Let u equal to k in dv. So now I believe now you understand what I mean. E k d k. Differentiate. The u equal to dk. And v equal to e k. Now, let's substitute it. So if you substitute, so we're going to leave our two out first. So you're going to come in. Do e letter. Okay, so this one here, which is integral of k, e k, d k, equals u v. What is a u? k times, okay, e minus v, e k, and d v, d u, d, d u equals d k. Okay, so k e k minus e k. We need to get e k. Okay. 
I can take EK out, I'm left with K minus one. But E, what is my K? My K, square root of X. Square root of X minus one. But remember, so this is this. But remember what you want, two of these, two of these. See what I'm saying? So two of these means this is gonna be two here, and here I'm gonna put everything with it, with it, two. See what I'm saying? So this is this, which is this. So now I'm gonna say, now integral, e, square root of x, dx, equal to this one right here. Now let's go to question number nine. Question number nine is easy. And we know for effects that's gonna be sine because number minus, whatever you have. Okay, number nine, integral of one minus four x squared dx. Okay, so so this let me say this let me say integral of one minus two x squared dx. So let uh, let two x equal to one because it's like one square one sine. So sine theta. Differentiate this is going to give us two dx equal to cos theta t theta cos yes it's two dx okay so now we have to place everything so now in a row one minus two x what is two x two x equal to sine so it's gonna become sine square oh yes and then we're gonna have this what is dx dx equal to cos theta d theta but over two because the over two over two that's a dx over two, so I can take two out. Okay, one of my square go to cos square. So this let me say one over two in a group there cos x times cos x, which is because it's gonna be cos x cos square d d theta. One okay. Now this I can use double angle now. Double angle of cos sine cos two theta equal to cos theta minus one. But we want to replace this cos theta. Especially whenever I have inner growth sign, you must use double angle of inner growth cos. You must use your double angle of a tricky come uh, double angle. So now, what is cos square? Cos square equal to cos two theta plus one over two. Because I'm going to say this come here is going to be plus the divided by two divided by two. So it's going to become cos inner growth there, cos double angle plus one over two. Theta. So 2 and 2 equal 4. So inner growth of cos double angle d theta plus inner growth of because this one going back. So inner growth there 1 d 1 d theta. It's d theta. One of all. Okay. When you integrate this, you have to differentiate 2 theta, which is going to give us 1 over. Take 1 over the derivative of this. You see, because when you derivate a function, the one you get one over derivative this function and then when you integrate cos you get sine when you integrate cos yeah sine and the right exact function so same here okay when you divide this is going to be one take one over derivative of two theta you're going to be theta and then when you integrate cos you get sine one times Okay, and now we plus this is just theta. So this let me say one over eight sine double angle plus one over four. So now we're not gonna they live like this. So we have to do something like how we did before. What is that something we're gonna do? So first and foremost, we don't have a double angle. So this, let me say, one over 18. This is like two 
Sanfira Costira. Because this is sine that we're in, plus theta over 4. So now we can go to our triangle like how we did before. This is theta. Okay, what did it give to us? This. So you can say this is like over 1. Sine equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite equal to x. Hypotenuse equal to 1. So get this means it must be hypotenuse square, which is 1 minus square of this, which is 4x square. Okay, so we can get everything. So this one here equal to 1 by sine 2 theta. What is sine 2 theta means? 2 sine is like 2. What is the sine? Sine equal to opposite of a hypotenuse. So opposite equal to x over hypotenuse equal to 1. Okay, times cos. What is the cos? Cos equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So 1 minus 4x squared over 1. Okay? Plus theta over 4. You come here. So to get theta, theta itself is going to be low. 2x equals sine theta. So theta is like sine inverse of 2x. So if theta equal to sine inverse of 2x, but we over 4. And then you can plus your constant. That's all. 2 times equal to 4. So 2 times equal to 4. This here. 2 times equal to 4. So it's like 4 over 8, a half. Or oh, this is going to be half x. Okay, half x. We can say half x. So all this stuff is going to be half x. 2 times equal to, you can say over 2. So you can say all this x whatever over 2. You can leave it like that if you don't want. You can write like this. It's a right now. So it's option. Or you can see finally x 1 minus 4x squared over 2 plus sine inverse 2x. But all of this here over 4. That's my concern. So I go to question number 10, the last question. And that's going to be our last question for today. So I hope you learn from how to do 3D substitution. Uh, that one is sine. Okay, cool. Now we go. So integral, okay, x squared, and then I got 9, and I get x squared. Okay, so I'll let x equal to 3, 3, 3, 3, okay, so 3. Man, this will be more easy. Let me make 7. Let me just make 9. Let's make 7. So if this 7, okay. So meaning, if you want to make a square, it's like say, if somebody says 7, and if somebody says 7 squared, do the same thing. So I'm going to replace this 7 with saying, uh, this let me say integral, x squared. I do so I can challenge myself. Okay. So this is going to be square root of 7, and then it's going to be sine, <coughs> angle dx equal to, differentiate this going to be square root of 7, because theta d theta. Okay, replace, integral. We know, square of this, like say 7, uh, this one is like say square root of 7, minus x squared. Square is like 7, this. Yeah, this is x squared. And then d, dx, dx equal to square root of 7, d theta. Okay, here we go now. They gave me the same. So now this is going to be, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, this is interesting. So now this stuff here is going to give us square root of 7, cos of x. But you can do slowly, right? So cos of x, okay. 
Okay, this is going to give us cot of 7. You can do slowly if you don't understand how it's cos of theta d theta. Okay, uh, this is going to give us uh, 7 sine square theta. Oh, this cot of 7 cos and this. Oh no, this is cot of 7 cos. Yes, I agree. This, this, and this is going to give us 7, but we still have our inner. Now we go. This cot of 7 times cot of 7 equals 7. Equals 2. Scot of P times scot of P equal to P. So, isn't this equal to 7? This 2 equal to 7. 7 times 49. So, take 49 out. So, I don't have no normal number. I can just plug this as like sine square, cos square. Oh! Very interesting. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have to play with the double angle here. Very, very, very interesting. Okay. Double angle. So how I'm going to do that? It's easy. So one must go, either cos must go or sine must go. Uh, which one should it go? Which one you want to do with, cos or sine? Whatever, it doesn't matter, okay. Let me remove cos. Whatever you want to remove, it doesn't matter, okay. What is cos square? Cos square goes to one minus sine square. So we say 49, was, we got sine square here. Cos one minus sine. You see what I'm saying? I can multiply that out. So this let me say 40. Nine, you know, this is gonna be sine. Okay, this is gonna be sine power four. And this is gonna come in, it's gonna be 49 in a row, sine power four. Or I can say sine square for a reason, I'll tell you why. Square again, D, theta. So I can deal with this, and I can deal with this in a separate case. Okay. I can just wait. I don't need nothing now. That's a good question. Okay, so from trig identity, we know for a fact, okay, sine, okay, we know cos, double angle equals to one minus two. So if I wanna get sine alone, I mean this is gonna come here, it's gonna be sine equal to, because there's a two here. This is going to go over 1 minus cos double angle. Divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. So divided by 2, this is going to go. So instead of say sine square, I will replace with this. So whenever there's sine square, I get a place with some. So this is going to be, let me see if it does record, just like I said before. Okay, perfect. So this is going to be 49. And this is going to be in a row. Instead of say uh, sine square, it's going to be 1 minus cos double angle. There's a 2 here, right? I can take 2 out. Because I don't need these 2 to go out. So, D, D, theta. Minus, minus. So, this one we done. Minus, minus, 49. Okay? This is a different case because it's going to be 9 over cos. 2 theta. Okay? Over 2. Ah, there's a square now. You <coughs> see, there's a, there's a square. This question is very long. There's a square. And then we go up. There's an integral here. D is here. That's a long question. Okay. Now we go. <coughs> so what we're going to do, this is going to get finished because it's going to be 4 and 9 over 2. Now we're going to integrate. Integrate 1 D theta is going to give a theta. And then minus integral, of course. Minus 4 and 9. You're right. Okay. This 4 and 9. Uh, theta minus 1 over differential this is going to give us, so it's going to give us 2. But when you integrate cos, you get sine. Okay, minus 49. Now we count for this one. When you square, this is going to give us 4. So you're going to say in a row, 4 is going to go out. And then here I'm going to be left with 1 minus 2 cos 2 theta plus cos square double angle d theta. Because I expanded this one before 4 went up. So this half here, for the first case, we know this half is done. So I need to deal with this on a separate case. See what I'm saying? So the problem here is this, the last one. Cos square 2 theta. But a cos square 2 theta, I can handle that too. It's easy. So you know the strategy I'm going to use? I'm going to say, okay, cool. So I can separate. So let me just separate. So this let me say, okay, four nine theta minus a half 
minus, okay, 49 over 4. When you integrate 1 d theta, it's going to give you theta. Let's do this. Okay, now, minus. Uh, 2 is going to go back, and then integral, of course, to theta. Uh, should I do straight away? I think I can do straight away. Okay, let's go. Let me just do slow. Some people, they might not understand me. I can just do straight away, but I do because of you. Theta here. D theta. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let me deal with this. You can raise everything. Except yeah, this was a very challenging question. Okay, now, you want to differentiate this, look. It's going to be 49 over 4 theta. Okay, 2. Differentiation is going to be 1 over 2. It's going to be 2. And then when you, this is going to be sine 2 theta plus same thing. You want to deal with it. So, I'm going to say this is 49 theta minus 1 sine of 2 theta minus. Okay, let's take this stuff here and deal with it and then we're going to replace so let's call this tie equation here. So take integral cos. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna have to need this. I have to replace this. So if you go to the uh, double angle, cos double angle, two cos theta minus one. Okay, but it's not for now. It's this double angle is here. I mean, this must be two, and this must be four. See? So for that case. Uh, this is square here, 2 square. So I want to get this. So I can replace it. So this is going to come over, so it's going to become integral. Cos for theta plus 1 over this 2. Because this will go over 2. And then d, d theta. So this integral, 2 it can go back. And this is going to be cos of 4 theta. d theta plus 1 over 2 for the second one also. Integral of this which is this like 1d theta because a half for the first one and a half for the second one okay so this will be 1 over 2 differential is going to give us 4 4 times equal to 8 and then when you integrate cos you get sine plus 1 over 2 this is going to give us theta so now we're going to come and plug it in here you see what i'm saying so we can say okay 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 what i want to do wait, wait, wait. Can I write this? I can just finish up here. So everything that they give to us from that equation, the last equation, is equal to um, this, this, okay. Mm -hmm. I think I can write. Yeah. Equal to four, nine theta minus a half, sine theta minus, multiply in, 49 over 4 theta, uh, 98 over 8, or you can say, okay, these two and two cancel. So, oh no, no, okay, this 49, this and this, okay. this and this is going to be 49 over 4. This and this two is going to cancel, so I don't need this because 2 over 2. So it's going to be 49 over 4, 49 over 4, 49 over 4, sine. Oh, so this is going to be 49, or this and this plus. For number four, I'm just putting together. The question is done. For number four, for number four, and then sign to theta. Okay, now this, we're going to have to take this and multiply with that, which is this. So I'm going to say minus 49 over 4. We multiply by this answer here, which is 1 over 8, sine of 4, plus a half theta. See what I'm saying? Plus a half theta.
Okay, sine double angle, sine double angle. Okay, we can just put together. Okay, so this and this is gonna be 32 and 8. Okay, multiply is gonna be 49 over 32. 49 over 32. 49 over 32. 49 over 32. 49 over 32 minus by this and this is gonna become what? Minus also because it's a plus gonna be minus. 49 over 8. I believe so. Okay, cool. Oh man, I forgot here. Yeah. I kind of mix up the sign, but no problem. You can see if it's plus or minus, I kind of forgot because they raised us, okay? Sorry, guys. So, what you're going to do, the sum of the stuff was similar here. For example, uh, this and this are similar. 49 over 4 minus a half. Uh, I think it gives you a calculator over there. 49 over 4 minus a half. 49 over 4 minus a half. 49. 49 over 4 minus a half. 49. For 4 minus a half. 47 over 4. So this is this 47 over 4. So 49 theta minus 47 over 4. Sun double angle. Now we come. This and this also should put together. 49 theta minus 49 over 4. 49 theta. This minus four nine over four. Four nine minus four nine over four. One forty seven over four. So this one forty seven over four. One forty seven theta over four. So these and these go. These and these go. I believe this minus. I can't remember that. Okay. Oh my god. And this one, I suppose to take this, this, and that. Okay, so, okay, just plug the calculator. Is it minus or plus? Ah, yeah, I forgot the sign. But you see, you check. Okay, let me say minus. But you can check, right? Because I believe you are following me very careful. For a 9 over 8. 2 for 5, 8. 2 for 5, 8. So this is supposed to be 2 for 5. Theta. Over 8, and then we say this on minus 49 over 32 sine over 40 theta. This could be plus or minus. I can't remember that because I raised before I check. So when you finish here, then you have to go back to how we started and replace sine double angle, sine for angle, and that. But if you want me to do it, I can do it for you. But this is easy because, like this, look, this let me say 2 sine theta cos theta. Minus 49, so we know sine theta cos theta you can get from the triangle over 32, and this same say 2 sine double angle cos of double angle, and this one you can break also because this is same as that. So, whatever you get here, you substitute in here, and this also you can break because this same say, uh, same say, uh, 2 cos angle square minus 1. So from our triangle, you can get all of this because you can get cos from this and this, same with the place for that. I believe you learn how to do things and thanks so much for your time. You know, you learn from my mistake also. You know, thanks for all your patience. Leave a comments below. I'm going to respond to your comments. Like I say, every time when you see me here, I just came here to complete the mission. Don't forget to do donation, man. You know, it could be one dollar, two dollar, hundred dollar, even two million dollars. Don't afraid it, man. This guy is crazy, man. I want to give him like some millions, but I'm kind of shy or something. Don't feel shy. Don't be ashamed. Okay? Your one dollar can be a lot to me. Your fifty cent can be a lot to me. Ten, five, twenty. You know, any type of donation I appreciate. We can give this going. Thanks a lot for your time. Peace. And I'm out. Subscribe, oh, subscribe, eh?